Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. My next guest, I've been on the show before. Good man. He's on Fox Sports 1's Crowd Goes Wild. There's a lot to talk about in football now, man. It really is. Yeah. It is craziness. <laughs> Trevor Price, what's up, man? What's up, Artie? I, last time, I, I, I will not stop telling the story. Yeah. We were on CBS, and Artie comes up. I want to interview Artie. Already starts talking about these people's TV show, and they the cut talk. him. They cut him out of the segment. And every time you say crowd goes wild, I'm thinking you're about to go down that road again. <laughs> but this is your show, so I can't really no, stop you. No, no, I, 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 you're on a good show now. I mean. <laughs> oh, <woof. laughs> I'm saying the talk. I talked about the talk. I had the audacity to talk about Leslie Moonves' stupid wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had the audacity to talk about. And they were like, oh, just cut it out. I mean, you know. I mean, and, come on, she be a she should be a receptionist segment. at a tanning salon oh. that she never met. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Moonves. It, was, it was a hilarious, I mean, I have never laughed so hard. Well, my everybody, life. I'm sorry for making everybody uncomfortable, but the, the, oh, they were right, right behind us. Right. The crowd was right behind us. We couldn't do the interview in, right. the, in the Franklin's, whatever that is, square in New Orleans. Right. And, uh, you know, they're getting this whole fake, phony applause by these retards in their audience. <laughs> and, God, and, you see, and you see Les Moon as his wife, and you just think, just, I'm like, come on, how dare you? <laughs> so many people struggle in broadcasting to get jobs. And hey, you hooked up with old ass Leslie Boone. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, she does it right there. Listen, if you got it, listen, I'm not if, calling you got her. It, if you got it, you got it. Almost. I'm not calling her a whore. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Because she's not. Clearly, she's not. Oh, my but God. But if you Clearly. are, if, you're, uh, if you make the decision in life, to be a whore, be a smart. Oh God! You gotta bang the right is... guy. Like if you want to be on this show, uh, don't bang me. I have no power. None. You'd have to bang God. Dan. Uh, Jane. God Jane is Jane. Jane. You'd have to bang Can Dan. I Jane L. Rod. <laughs> but now you're on a good show. You're having I fun. I appreciate it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, are you? <laughs> All that ugliness is behind you. <laughs> this is stepping mine. stone. Oh God. Uh, now, well, what? The... Let's talk about football now. Of course, it's, uh, you've been Why? probably talking about this. Why? You've been yeah, talking about this forever, I'm sure. But uh, incognito and, and Martin, what's going on? All right, let me uh, start at the beginning. I don't like Richie Incognito. I never have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he, know, he knows this. Well, I, play, I don't know I if anyone him. likes him. There you go. Right? No, right. Nobody that plays against him likes that He's guy. not doing a lot of likable things right no, now. No, <laughs> he's before this for <laughs> years. Yeah. Right. It was kind of like he yeah. is. He was a pariah. He was a pariah. You yeah. know what I mean? Okay. He was that guy that. Went I can way believe way too far right. on a football field. It's kind of like, listen, Holmes, it's not that serious. Why are you trying to punch me in my balls in the pile? Yeah. Why are yeah. you? Why are you trying to bite me? You know what I mean? That's Enough already. Yeah, exactly. Enough already. Yeah. Yeah, it's like well, it's a good point. Like when Holyfield got bitten by Tyson, Holyfield went like what, the look was like, really? <laughs> right. It's kind of like you're Aren't we both millionaires? A, yeah, 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 it's a kid that rides a short bus. You know what I mean? It's extra strong, but it kind of like goes out of his way to make your life hell. Okay, mm -hmm. now, now what you just said though. Okay, now, that's an excellent point. What does it say about someone knowing that history, telling this guy to okay. toughen somebody up? What does right. that say about their judgment? That that's the problem. Right. Here's the thing. And and this and John will back me up on this, I think. I hope. When when a player when me and John are teammates and I say and I say to the media, hey, I have John's back. Right. What am I protecting John from? Not the rest of the players. I'm protecting him from something going on upstairs. Uh -huh. Coaches, management. Somebody said something to John okay. that is making him feel like like, you know, like the lowest piece of trash on the planet. And right. I'm saying, you know what? We have his back. I have his back. Uh -huh. I don't have to protect John from you. I have to protect John from your boss. Right, okay. You see what I mean? I get you. So therefore, I think, to me, it sounded like something was coming down from him from up top. Because it sounds like they drafted this kid in the second round. He went to a tough program. Stanford right. is a bunch of tough kids. Right. Smart kids, but tough as nails, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And they finally got him in the camp, and they realized very quickly... This kid is not an NFL player. He is not a left tackle. So that was the problem. That, okay. that They drafted a kid. They were like, okay, we overshot this thing. They made a mistake. They made a mistake. Yeah. And now how do we fix it? Hey, give him to Richie Incognito. Now the other part of this, I honestly believe I watched the Richie Incognito thing and the way he spoke. I believe he's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Again, N-word aside, right. he should not be using that. That takes, I, I will, to, that takes I, everything to another that level. That takes everything right. to another level. Right. But the, everything he said in the interview said, Jonathan was like a little brother to me. I believe that. Oh, okay. There's a thousand text messages between these two. Right. You know what I mean? And when and when, and when when Incognito said, hey, man, you coming back? He says, you know, the locker room culture has got to me a little bit. I think it's a little unfair to pin it on Richie Incognito because of that. 
I think it was something else. I do not think it's just Richie Incognito. Yeah, no, well, I, and mm-hmm. I, I happen to agree with you, and I think that's John's take on it too, yeah. basically, right? I well, mean, the, yeah, and you're hearing that you you have a lot of people in that locker room who are really worried right now, you know, with this oh, investigation. Oh, Because sure. everything's oh, documented. What's going to come out? Right? Text, coming, email, yeah. everything's documented. Everybody, everybody, right. The fact that both of them saved all these, yeah. uh, something. It, it, when it hits the fan, it's going to hit with a a thud now. Right. You right. know what I mean? But do you agree? Uh, I, I saw something last night that Jonathan Martin says he wants to come back and play football, doesn't feel comfortable go, going back to the Dolphins, so he's probably done for this season. I don't think anyone can put him on their team anymore. I don't see him playing football because there's there's been said that he doesn't want to play football. Oh really? It's been, yeah. it's it's been said. It's been said that but he doesn't want to play football. Let me ask you this, anymore. and this I, this is a sensitive thing. Well, that's the, he's saying otherwise though. He he's saying, saying he wants he to play. Saying, does he just feel like he has to say that? Right. I, I would guess so. If but some if if, if someone money, says you need to be toughened up, don't you think the desire to play is not there to begin with? If you need to be um, toughened a, up as an a, offensive lineman, uh, uh, I, I the think, offensive I line, the nastiest, grossest, the, right. the grossest meanest people, people yeah, on the planet, right. and they have to toughen you up. That, yeah. that is, I think you don't again, fit the I don't bill. Know, I haven't seen the kid play, but it see, I have. Like, I have, right. and, and, I've, and people I've said ISO'd. he is so. But people are evolving. People said people he are is ev- We're all evolving. Like this guy's an intellectual. Like he's a Stanford guy. He, his parents went to Harvard. Like, maybe he's too a Stanford maybe guy. Maybe he's too I intellectual. Yeah, right. I, I think the Stanford thing is a misnomer. I, I again. Don't, did yeah. you watch them kids play against Oregon? Yeah, right, that is about right. a smash mouth of football team. But a left tackle. I'm planet. talking about off the off the field. A left tackle nowadays is different than a left tackle was in the 70s and 80s. People are more educated. People are Absolutely. S- smarter, more Absolutely. sophisticated. Except people. for I think, Richie, I think and, really, right? and Richie's yeah. and Richie's not as sophisticated as, as Martin is no, as a he's person. Not. Oh, but wait a minute. So let's now be they're colliding. Richie Incognito drives a Ferrari. <laughs> let's let's just call it what it is. Hey, he, listen, drives a, he drives a four hundred thousand dollar car. I didn't now. know that. Oh yes, he drives a Ferrari. That, that makes sense, though. Four hundred grand. It, I, I I believe that he has one. I mean, you so, know, so he's a problem guy broke. I want to <laughs> the, the whole like intelligent football player thing. I think that there is usually an inverse relationship between being smart and being willing to run into people hard. Right. 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 But there are always. There are exceptions, and and more often than not, the guys who make it to the NFL are exceptions to that rule. Yeah, but Jonathan yeah, but, Martin is not an exception to that rule. Right, at the I, very I, basic. Because right. like, nobody's talking about how good or bad he is at football. I've heard he's not very good. Right, yeah. that's the problem. I've heard, I've heard that yeah. he is not. They said people say, you know what, the kid is soft. And well, Incognito was a good football player. No, he was not. Oh, he wasn't? No. Okay. Incognito's a dirty So that's wrong. Mean, he's okay, a mean, so dirty. see, you, you got to educate me on that. Listen, he's a guard. He, he's got to get in the way. He's, he's very mean. wide. He you know big. what I mean? He is big. <laughs> he is big. I've played against he's him. He's a grinder. He, you know, he, probably he better whatever. run blocking right. than pass it, protecting. No, no, no discernible skill whatsoever besides being big and mean. Let me, ask you this. Strong. Let me strong. ask you this, Bryce. And this is uh, its a sensitive thing. Going back to the N-word situation. Right. Is there any, as a black man, is there any context you could you could accept that in, in the case, in the sense that here's a, a, a relationship between a black guy and a white guy. Right. And they might have developed a, fr- a friendship where right. within just that friendship. Right. They, uh, that's been okay. Like, like Martin said, like, you know, in a way, like, he's given signs because they're so close I can deal with you saying that because we're busting balls. You can deal with me saying this because we're... Right. And then when a private text goes out, is there any way to forgive... It's not like incognito with a bunch of white guys right. saying it. I, I, here's the thing. Is there any I, way I you can you. forgive that behavior in no, that context? Uh, you you, you, you kind of have to forgive it because I think what what I'm what we're looking at... Right. We're looking at it. We're looking at a voicemail instead of hearing a voicemail. Yeah, right. right so we're right, not right. hearing it in the context. Yeah, yeah. And I think what took place is Richie Incognito goes out That's a good out point, wide. too. No one's he saying goes, that. He yeah. goes out, he gets drunk, mm-hmm. he gets in a bender, mm-hmm. and he starts busting balls, and he goes way too far. Right. Like he does when he plays football. He goes way too far. The whistle it's is shot on Richie. Value. He Stop. likes the yeah. shock. He likes the shock. He does it on the football field. And that's his field. version of toughening a guy up. And that's his version of toughening a guy up. So you up. just now, made a great point so that no one in the media is talking about. We we're we're it. looking at it, and he wasn't saying it maybe like a clan guy running to hang somebody. He was saying like a friend busting chop. I don't believe he is a over racist. Right. He spent his life playing football sure. with many a black person. Right, you right, know right, what I mean? Right. So to, to call 
the jackass that he is a racist. <laughs> he's just a jackass. He's just, just a jackass. A jackass. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's a little different. <laughs> that's Again, my yeah. opinion is never change of him. <laughs> yeah. He was a jackass before this happened. Uh -huh. He will be a jackass after this happens. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's what he is. But the call, I think, him to call anybody a racist who has spent time playing a professional sport where 60% of the league, of yeah. the players in the NFL, 70%, yeah. whatever it is, are black, I think is a little short See, I, think, I, think I think there's yeah, an honest exactly. answer. Yeah. I do. I That's do believe that. Again, point, man. I'm, not, I'm not making an excuse for him right. at all. At right. all, at all, I am not. I'm not condoning what he said, and and forgiving him is not a really about forgiving him as much as it is saying what is the truth. Right. You know what I mean? And and the truth is, he gets drunk and he lets something slip, like Riley Cooper did, yeah, like well, I've heard other people do. Bill, and, Co and, Bill Cosby has the greatest joke of all time about getting high or whatever. Uh, ask about cocaine, where Bill Cosby says the guy doing cocaine, why do you do it so much? And uh, the guy doing cocaine says because it it enhances your personality. And, and Cosby <laughs> says, what if that's great? What if you're an a hole? <laughs> <laughs> and right, you know, so then that, that joke applies here. If he's already right. a jackass, he might. Now it, it's time to it, it. It sounds like it sounds like because he's he high got, or drunk, right? right. When yeah. you tell when when you tell a guy, hey, I want to poop in your mouth and <laughs> slap your mother. What the hell's going oh, on? Really? It's like you're drunk. Yeah, you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, sit down. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like yeah. you're just being a you're just being what you. You know, what your parents You're an amplified you version of what you the, are. The yeah. asshole you've already are. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, now, is he enough of an a-hole to play in the NFL or never play in the NFL again? That is that is the million-dollar question. It's been surprising that people have continued to give him chances again and again and that's again. That's the thing. He, he's been Maybe kicked, out of, he's been kicked out of many a football team, and I can tell you this. Right. Just again, in, in the, just the looking around, the Dolphins have been bad for a very long time. Right. Yeah. So now, as a general manager, you say, "Look, we have to toughen up this football team. Right. We go get the toughest, toughest kind of guy we can find, offensive line that we can afford." Sure. Richie Cardinal, and they and they reward him with a contract extension. It's a warrior point, sport. So you go, "Who are we going to put sport. in the locker room that it's can make a us?" Warrior right. yeah. Who can I put in this locker room that would help me? Help me push this boundary that I need to push and make right. this team tougher. Right. Prior, the, the dirtiest offensive lineman in the league. Right. Yeah, but prior to this, prior to this whole deal, he had been on his best behavior. I think he knew that he was near the end of the line as far as what people were willing to put right. up with. Right. And he, they even gave him an award for like the good guy award. Absolutely. The media have, you, have you seen the thing? Have, have you seen the commercial they played before the games? With no. him in a croquet jersey, says, "Hey fans, don't act unruly in a game." <laughs> while he's Let me like, do it. Yeah, while he's like trying to wow. push you after the whistle. It's like, yeah. Richie, get off of me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like you are the last guy to do this, yeah. and they put him on the leadership council and all this. Yeah. That's, 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 that is that's a so reason. funny. That is a there is a reason for that because we want all of you to play your game yeah. like he plays right. it to uh -huh. the very edge. Well, uh, let me ask you this: uh, How is this going to end up? Like, are there going to be firings in Miami? You think, and how? Oh, High yes. level will they be? Just the, the, the owner was on TV yesterday, and he said, I "Hey, that, yeah. I appreciate the coach." And the coach and the coach said nothing about the general manager. Right. He's up out of here. I think he's going to be the scapegoat. Oh, gosh. He's he, yeah, somebody yeah. has somebody. A head has to roll, mm -hmm. and it's going to be his. Right. Okay. Richie Carnito, I think somebody will play. He will play again, but it will be at certain places. It will be in New England. Yeah. Where where right. Bill Belichick could stomp out. He, if he stomped out Tebow the way he did, right. he will stomp that right out. You know I know, I mean? the it Tebow has stuff to be, was not tolerated. He was not tolerated. Nothing was. Yeah. No, we're not and doing now, that. Ocho Cinco wasn't tolerated. Not all. Right. Yeah. I'm not Long talking about that. It, there's a, that there's, a, kind of there's a places that Richie Randy and Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Yeah, yeah, I stomped that out. So it has to be New England. It has to be like a Baltimore. That's a great point, Where too. Yeah. As soon as... As soon as I know the guys that play for Baltimore, as soon as Richie Incognito walks into the Baltimore Ravens locker room, yeah. he is going to be peppered with <laughs> with some of the worst insults he's ever heard yeah, about right. himself. Uh, well, and he better laugh. You know, he better laugh with him. You wait, know what I mean? Because they will go deeper. Again, and that seems justified, <laughs> but does that just, you know, continue the bad behavior? Is like, like what are they what they're gonna say? What if that's on tape? And now right. we go to another level. It's like, okay you know? because well, Terrell, it's on, that's on tape it. everywhere. That's on yeah. tape everywhere across the league. And that's why Jonathan. And Martin probably won't be able to play again because that this is exactly like it is everywhere else. And if he can't handle it in Miami, right. he's not going to be able to handle it. He, he, he could have he handled any it. Of the other 31 he could have handled it in Baltimore. Right. Because there's some dudes on that team. I mean, when I say when I say they needle you, right. they needle you and they don't stop. And the, the person I saw take the worst of it in Baltimore, as far as getting made fun of, was Ray Lewis. 
No they kidding. They made fun of him every day. And Look, he if you're making fun of Ray Lewis, you're nuts. Yeah, I mean, we just, they, just, they just did all the time. Frank Walker made fun of Ray every day because there's a – and gentlemen know this. The guys that get paid the most are the leaders. Yeah. Right. But, uh, but as far as getting – Getting the most, you know, busting balls. Yeah, and that. Yeah. They're at the very bottom. That's you know, hilarious. you know, because they're on TV. That's a and special the media. kind of nuts. It's a, it's a special kind of nuts. Yeah. But Ray sat in the corner. I, they got on me at times. You sit in the corner, and you laugh at it, and you know what happens? We all move on very quickly. Well, the you joke, go, you go the on the joke field. Gets old. And, and That's the thing. Right. The it, joke it, gets old very quickly, yeah. and, and yeah. everybody gets it. Nobody's immune to it. You okay. know, I think I think the game of football is a great. It's it's a representation of exactly how your mind has to work to make it in the game of football. And what I mean is you have a play that right. lasts for seven to ten seconds, if that and then won't. it's over, and you got to move on to right. the next it's play. It's like me with sex. No matter what. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> no matter. I, yeah. say to, I say to my fiance, it's seven seconds of hell. And then, <laughs> and then, hell. And then we have to move on. As a couple. Move Can you, on. Are you capable of doing I know you're crying. Are you capable of doing <laughs> Uh-huh. I know I just used some racial slurs during the time. But I was... uh, no, but yeah. So no, 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 no. You, you, no, have to, you, have to, you have to take what happens in that play and immediately put it behind you, no matter whether it's good or bad, right, right. and move on to the next play. And normally, guys who are good, guys who learn to excel in this game, they can do that. They can compartmentalize everything. Everything. I'm everything. talking about their social everything. life, I, the, you know, everything. their activity. We compartmentalize it all. You have to. I mean, right. I mean, if you can't do that, you fail. And, and, and it's a Martin microcosm of that. It's a microcosm of life. You have to do that in life, too, to get by. Not, it's a, not like it's this. A great, but no, it's, it's another great, level. Like it's another this. level. It's a great <laughs> lesson. It's, it's a, a metaphor. But it's here's, a metaphor. A, here's the thing. People don't realize. I mean, I, I've heard the whole thing. Hey, the locker room's a family. We're a brotherhood. No, we're not. <laughs> we are all mercenaries going to the highest bidder. You are paid. Just, you are paid, are paid assassins. And yeah. we are paid assassins. Right. And we go to the highest bidder. And the NFL's different from all the other sports. Our contracts aren't guaranteed. That's right. We are playing on, on 365 days, or really. 20 day contract. It's me or you. It's me or, it's right, yeah. me or you. So there mm-hmm. is no brotherhood. We can say brotherhood all we want, but the last time I had a brother that was just cut and released, like, where's my brother? My parents just cut my brother. It yeah. doesn't work like that. And you gotta move on. Another great point you just made, too, again, that not, nobody's talking about uh, the kind of teams that could accept an incognito or somebody. You're right. Yeah, Belichick and. Uh, and, and the people at New England seem to be good at taking a guy who comes in with all this other crap around them, like Tebow, like Ocho Cinco, and squashing and says, look, oh. if you don't play without all that crap, we're not, you can't play in the uh, system. They pop the bubble. Right. Be- Belichick, yeah. man, the, the, greatest con- the greatest press conference I've ever seen was when he said to me, he said, listen, I'm done talking about him. T- Tebow, I'm <laughs> yeah. done Move talking on. about him. Move on. Yeah. And they were like, well, Tebow, you said, I'm done talking about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need those strong. And Miami did not have that strong kind of personality. Right. Again, I'm going to speak in the locker rooms I've been in. The Ravens have several of those guys. Those strong personalities will say, hey, listen, this is the way we do things, and this is what it is. The, yeah. the, you know, the Patriots have the ultimate alpha in, in Bill Belichick. Right. Yeah, and I think that in Miami, to be fair, I mean, it was like the perfect storm Absolutely. type scenario because you have a new coaching staff coming in mm-hmm. with Philbin and, and company. And maybe they just didn't know these guys the way they needed to. I mean, the guys you know that they brought in, maybe they knew them a little better. But they don't, you don't know the exact conventions, the social dynamics you, that are going you know on why? when you're because, a new staff. Because it's, it's CYA, cover your ass. Because yeah. when you're a GM, I need this team to win. And if I have to find a way, if I have to bring in incognito and some of these crazy idiots that I know have problems, yeah. if they're going to help me win, guess what? Yeah. I will look past that mess. Of course. Now, this has happened, and now the owner's going, why'd you bring him in? And the GM's going, you wanted a winner. Mm-hmm. This guy's tough. He and, helps us. And you think mm-hmm. Philbin survives this, the coach? You, think I, you know what? I, yeah. I, they were doing okay with him. Right, like, yeah. They were starting to yeah, get Yeah, they were somewhere. coming out of that hole. They were Absolutely. coming out of that hole. You know they, what I mean? They accepted Tannehill as the guy, and he, the you GM, know, right. The GM is out. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Ireland. I think, because, I, I because, think because, sticks around. Because Stephen Ross, um, he inherited he inherited the GM. Oh, okay. Because they, he was hired by Wayne Izenga. So when he bought the team. So that guy, he can fire without can looking fire. like he made the mistake. I don't know who you are. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack your bags and get the hell out of here. Philbin's his guy, though. Philbin's his Philbin right. is kind of like the GM and owner get together. And, and say, that's the way. And I think Philbin's somewhat untouched by this because he is so well respected. I mean, he's the guy, you know, a, a couple years ago, he was the guy that everyone was pointing to. He's the next head coach in the league because he's right. sharp. 
He runs a tight ship, unbelievable organization, brilliant offensive mind, yeah. great leader. He, I think he remains untouched by hey, this hey, listen, because my, of his coaching acumen. Listen, Miami has a, has a, a flat line bottom problem and that is a base problem is the fact that their franchise is in Miami. Yeah. Because that's it, another that, that is a, that is a, a you get a lot of trouble there. Oh, <laughs> you get a lot of you trouble talk about in Miami. Distractions, there right. is <laughs> there is no better job than playing for a professional sports team in Miami because a nobody in the town cares. B yeah. the people that you want to care do of care. Of course, you see yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we played a Super Bowl and we played one of my in Miami and I remember our defensive end wrote a list of why the Dolphins would never go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> and it was like South Beach. <laughs> South Beach. No, it is. It's it's it, it, yeah, is it is unbelievable. Yeah, it, 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 it's one of those things that Richie and Connie was on his good behavior because it's kind of like, hey, this Miami thing is not bad uh -huh. because if I get sent to Green Bay, I will, I will hang myself. Hey, look, when you I do stand-up in Miami, I tell my agent to put in a close. He may not make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make All right. It. Uh, thanks. We're going to take a break. I want to, real quick, though, for a couple bucks a month, dollarshaveclub.com delivers amazing quality razors right to your door. Not only does it save you a ton of cash, it saves you from trudging to the drugstore for a pack of blades, uh, getting stuck behind someone with loose change takes forever. For just a couple bucks a month, amazing quality razor blades are delivered right to your door. Everybody here is getting their Dollar Shave Club blades, and you should too. Try replacing your old shaving cream with Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter from dollarshaveclub.com. Trust me, your face will thank you later. Don't waste time at the drugstore behind the lady paying in pennies. Join dollarshaveclub.com. <laughs> uh, keep your stress level low and your bank account balance high. Shave time, shave money. Dollarshaveclub.com. We'll be back with more Trevor. And also, we're going to get to Rod when we come back. Rod and Bayside has prank calls. I can't wait for that. The Audio Lag Show. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.